iOS 26 has recently been released by Apple for beta testing, and it comes with a brand new design. In this video, I'll be showing you if the new design impacts the performance of iOS or not. Quick disclaimer, performance does not equal stability. I myself uh, consider downgrading to iOS 18, but for the sake of content, I decided to stay on iOS 26. Please do your research and only install on separate devices or if you're willing to take the risk. This first test is the boot up test. While this test is not as important as the others, this test tells us how optimized things are in iOS right now. iOS 26 has a ton of unoptimized code right now, so that makes iOS 18 the winner. Now it is taking a while for iOS 26 to boot up, which makes sense because it is beta software and it looks like it has finally booted up. Our next suite of tests is going to be the browser test. A lot of apps are actually very lazily made and some of them are just actually just web browsers, so it's good to test the web browsers. The first web browser test today is Speedometer. This tests how responsive web apps are. And it looks like iOS 26 has barely won the speedometer test. Now will it win Jetstream? Jetstream's test advanced web apps like the McDonald's app, which for me has been actually been pretty laggy. This test is written in WebAssembly, so it is a very low level test in raw performance. iOS 26 also barely won this test, but because the numbers are so low, I'm calling a tie here and I'm pretty sure iOS 18 could beat iOS 26. The next test is Motion Mark, and this is what pushes the web APIs to its absolute limit. This test renders complex effects to try to make the device lag as much as possible. It looks like iOS 18 has won this test by almost 50 points. This is telling us that WebKit did improve a whole lot in iOS 26. The next test is Geekbench, and this test shows how well the CPU handles common tasks. It does a variety of different things that the CPU does often on a day-to-day -day basis. And it looks like iOS 26 struggled a little bit compared to iOS 18. iOS 18 won both the single core and multi core test. I'm sure that iOS 26 will get better as betas continue to roll out. And this is something we will measure in upcoming beta videos, so be subscribed to be on the know what is coming in every single beta of iOS 26. Now the next thing we will be testing is how well the GPU holds up in iOS 26 using Geekbench. We are testing common actions done by the GPU, and this is going to give us a good measure on how much worse performance is in games and stuff like that, and also in terms of performance about liquid glass. And it looks like iOS 18 demolished iOS 26 again, but not by much. And once again, iOS 26 can easily catch up in future betas. Now we are going to continue testing the GPU. We are going to be doing 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Test. 3D Mark actually renders stuff on the GPU that you can actually see on the screen, and it isn't just numbers like in other tests. I'm going to give two scores, one for the best frames per second and one for the best overall score. And it looks like having two points went to iOS 18's favor once again, and it has won both the FPS point and the overall score point. Now something we have not tested yet is the neural engine, and iPhones have a very powerful neural engine. How well can AI models like Apple Intelligence or Face ID run on the device? That is what we will be testing right now with Geekbench AI. Now while iOS 26 has a better single precision score, iOS 18 won the overall test. This means that iOS 18 has once again taken a point away from iOS 26. But I'm really sure that iOS 26 can get really optimized in the beta stages so that it can beat iOS 18 in this test as well. The results are in, and unexpectedly, iOS 18 has won the performance test. I'm honestly not too shocked about this, as my experience with iOS 26 has been really bad lately. And I'm hoping that beta 2 improves the performance and stability a lot for me. I've been experiencing a lot of stutters. Now, if you have a Mac, I highly encourage you to watch the Mac version of this test, as a couple of interesting things happen there. We will also be doing this test again once iOS 26 reaches a stable stage, so be on the lookout for that as well. And as always, I'll be going over everything that is new inside the betas, and thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends, download my apps in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!